guys. Make it animated. Make it really campy and funny. Action. Real album. No, thank you. I'm blessed. And pep in. We're, we're late, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Um, <clears throat> how could you give the lead, the lead to the human leaf blower? I should be the star. I can sing five octaves, and I am borderline bipolar, so I have a huge emotional range. Now explain. Amber, next time you audition, don't sing a song from Cats and then start choking on a hairball. <gasps> that was a rogue piece of mucus. I am suing my allergist. Oh. Uh, attention! Attention, everyone! Silver play. First of all, I want to welcome everyone to what I think will be the definitive version of Greece. Yay! As your Ottawa and director, I look forward to exploring this delightful play's universal theme of finding oneself in, in an off-time confusing world. We'll be... Well, Boo Weasel, Harry Poppins, sorry to drop pigeon poop on your director's hat, but this play is not about finding yourself. It's about shaking your booty and shaking it hard. <laughs> As your choreographer, I'm going to push you all to dance like your hair is on fire. Can I dance in front of you? Oh, yes. yes, yes. I'll, okay. I'll have this mark then. Okay. <laughs> I have one more announcement to make before we start rehearsals and... I have one more announcement to make before we start rehearsals and I have my little talk with Mildred. We'd like to present the cast with their director's chairs. Boys! And that would be the cut. Okay. Yeah, uh, uh, and that would be the cut. I need my lines, I need my All right, lines. So we'll No, thank you. Pat. Amber. How can you? Sorry, I'm sorry. How can how, how can the lead be the human leaf, leaf blower? I should be the star. I can sing five octaves. I have an enormous emotional range, and I'm completely fucked up. So explain. Amber, next time the audition, try to remember your lines. No, no, I'm. <laughs> And the next time, <laughs> next time you audition, don't sing a song from Cats and then start choking on a hairball. <gasps> that was a rogue piece of music. Mu <laughs> mucus. I am suing my allergist. <laughs> attention! Uh, attention, everyone, Silver Play. First of all, I want to welcome everyone to what I think will be the definitive version of Greece. And director, I look, for, I look forward to exploring this delightful play's universal theme of finding oneself in an oft-time confusing world. Now, we'll be working... Oh, weasel, Harry Poppins. Sorry to drop pigeon poop on your director's hat, but this play is not about finding yourself. 
It's about shaking your booty and shaking it hard. <laughs> As your choreographer, I'm gonna push you all to dance like your hair's on fire. I have one more announcement to make before we... St I have... I have... To I, I... I have one more announcement to make before we start rehearsals and I have my little talk with Mildred. We'd like to present the cast with their director's chairs. Boys? No, thank you. to the human leaf blower. I should be the star. I can sing five octaves, and I am borderline bipolar, so I have a huge emotional range. Now explain. Amber, next time you audition, don't sing a song from Cats and then start choking on a hairball. <gasps> that was a rogue piece of mucus. I am suing my allergist. Uh, attention! Uh, attention, everyone! Silver play. First of all, I want to welcome everyone to what I think will be the definitive version of Greece. <clears throat> As your auteur and director, I look forward to exploring this delightful play's universal theme of finding oneself in an oft-time confusing world. We'll be... Bow weasel, Harry Poppins. Sorry to drop pigeon poop on your director's hat, but this play is not about finding yourself. It's about shaking your booty and shaking it hard. As your choreographer, I'm going to push you all to dance like your hair's on fire. I have one more announcement to make before we start rehearsals, and I have my little talk with Mildred. We would like to present the cast with their director's chairs. Boys! No, thank you.
No, thank you. How could you give the lead to the human leaf blower? I should be the star. I can sing five octaves, and I am borderline bipolar, so I have a huge emotional range. Now, explain. Amber, next time you audition, don't sing a song from Cats and then start choking on a hairball. <gasps> that was a rogue piece of mucus. I am suing my allergist. <clears throat> Attention! Attention, everyone! Silvu play. First of all, I want to welcome everyone to what I think will be a definitive version of Greece. <laughs> As your auteur and director, I look forward to exploring this delightful play's universal theme of finding oneself in an oft time confusing world. We'll be working oh, there. Oh, Weasel Harry Poppins. Sorry to drop pigeon poop on your director's hat. But this play is not about finding yourself. It's about shaking your booty and shaking it hard. <laughs> yeah, as your choreographer, I'm gonna push you all to dance like your hair's on fire. <laughs> I have one more announcement to make before we start rehearsals, and I have my little talk with Mildred. We'd like to present the cast with their director's chairs. Boys! Three, actually, marker. Yeah, do that. And back row, action. No, thank you. How could you give the lead to the human leaf blower? I should be the star. I, I can sing five octaves, and I have, I am borderline bipolar, so I have a huge emotional range. Now, explain. Amber, next time you audition, don't sing a song from Cats and then start choking on a hairball. <gasps> that was a, a rogue piece of mucus. Mm, I am suing my allergist. Attention! Attention, everyone! Silvu play. First of all, I want to welcome everyone to what I think will be a definitive version of Greece. <clears throat> As your auteur and director, I look forward to exp I was frothing. Can I do that again? Yeah, that's better. Thank you, Nancy. 35 moves, 35 naps at this point. Marker. And back round, and action. <gasps> that was a rogue piece of mucus. I am suing my allergist. Uh, attention! Attention, everyone! Silvu play. First of all, I want to welcome everyone to what I think will be the definitive version of Greece. <laughs> As your auteur and director, I look forward to exploring this delightful play's universal theme of finding oneself in an oft time confusing world. We'll be working. Oh, weasel, Harry Poppins. Sorry to drop pigeon poop on your director's hat, but this play is not about finding yourself. It's about shaking your booty and shaking it hard. <laughs> As your choreographer, I'm gonna push you all to dance like your hair's on fire. <laughs> I have one more announcement to make before we start rehearsal, and I have my little talk with Mildred. We'd like to present the cast with their director's chairs. Boys! And... <laughs> 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 
Kurt. And background and action. Share. Marker. No, thank you. How could you give the lead to the human leaf blower? I should be the star. I can sing five octaves, and I am borderline bipolar, so I have a huge emotional range. Now, explain. And the next time you audition, don't sing a song from Cats and then start choking on a hairball. That was a rogue piece of mucus. I am... My allergist. Attention, attention, everyone, to Boucle. First of all, I want to welcome everyone to what I think will be a definitive version of Greece. <clears throat> As your auteur and director, I look forward to exploring this delightful play's universal theme of finding oneself in an oft-time confusing world. We'll be working... Oh, weasel Harry Poppins. Sorry to drop pigeon poop on your director's cap, but this play is not about finding yourself. It's about shaking your booty and shaking it hard. As your choreographer, I'm going to push you all to dance like your hair's on fire. <laughs> I have one more announcement to make before we start rehearsal and I have my little talk with Mildred. We'd like to present the cast with their director's chairs. Boys! And cut it. Ready? Very good. <laughs> you give the lead to the human leaf blower? I should be the star. I can sing five octaves, and I am borderline bipolar, so I have a huge emotional range. Now explain. Sorry. Give the lead to the human leaf blower. I should be the star. I can sing five octaves, and I am borderline bipolar, so I have a huge emotional range. Now explain. And the next time you audition, don't sing a song from Cats and then start choking on a hairball. That was a piece of free floating mucus. I am suing my allergist. Background reset, please. And background. Action. How could you give the lead to the human leaf blower? I should be the star. I can sing five octaves, and I am borderline bipolar, and I have a huge emotional range. Now explain. And the next time you audition, don't sing a song from Cats and then start choking on a hairball. That was a free-floating piece of mucus. I am suing my allergist. Cutting. Cut here. Rolling. How could you give the lead to the human leaf blower? I should be the star. I can sing five octaves, and I am borderline bipolar, so I have a huge emotional range. Now explain. And the next time you audition, don't sing a song from Cats and then start choking on a hairball. That was a free-floating piece of mucus. I am suing my allergist. <laughs> Cut. Cut. Cut.
All right. Mark. How could you give the lead to the human leaf blower? I should be the star. I, I, I can sing five octaves, and I am borderline bipolar, so I have a huge emotional range. Now, explain. Amber, next time you audition, don't sing a song from Cats and then start choking on a hairball. That was a free-floating piece of mucus. I, I am suing my allergies. you give the lead to the human leaf blower. I should be the star. I can sing five octaves and I am borderline bipolar, so I have a huge emotional range. Now explain. Amber, next time you audition, don't sing a song from Cats and then start choking on a hairball. That was a free-floating piece of mucus. I am suing my allergist. Attention! Good. Good, here. <laughs> I'll show you what that worker.
before we start rehearsal, and I have my little talk with Mildred. We'd like to present the cast with their director's chairs. Boys! Sorry, don't make you laugh. Oh, save it for the showers, girls. Okay. <laughs> okay, this one is for our leading lady, Cher Horowitz. And this one goes to our leading man, Nick Rathjen. Holy Uber survey, the heck. Um, the rescued schlubs, grab a piece of tape and slap your name on a folding chair. Hey, that's one of the realities of the business. Stars get perks, deal with it. All I ever got from show business was a restraining order from Anne Haish. Rathjen. Yes. Come over here and let me show you how to thrust your pelvis like a man. <laughs> okay. Later. Soon enough. Okay. Okay, so. Hi. No, 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 no. No, I just want to do one, one quick thing. When he leaves his thing, Maura, that's when we should have a couple kids here start heading up to the stage, and that's when Eve comes in. Okay. Okay, so the guys who she had going around go up now. Okay, isn't this where Eve comes in? Yes. Okay, so go ahead in. We're back to rehearsal mode now. Um, okay, well, Cher? Okay. okay. Sorry, sorry to bother you. you. <laughs> I'm new. My name's Eve. Oh. Hi. I'm, I'm going to be the production assistant on the play, you know, to like run lines or, or go for or whatever. Wait, you're, you're a personal assistant? Like Jimmy Morehouse? Yeah. Hold it here. Mm, no, not okay, exactly. So you can't be here. You've got to be more here. So do I move the chair now? Should I put it back? Yeah. Yeah. No, you can leave him. You can leave the chair? Yeah. Um, you, can, you can take a rest now. You can go back to your trailer. Where are you talking about, Bob? Here? <laughs> you want to move yourself back the 15th. when they come into this market? In October 15th. Back into this area here. Okay. Next Thursday. Sure? I call that. So I got to go home. Oh. You want to clue this? That's right. <laughs> All right, continuing then? Uh, not exactly. Oh! Fabulous! Okay, now here is a list. Should I give her the entire thing or just the piece of paper? Okay. Great. Fabulous. Now, here's a list of all the pills I take and when I take them. Now, uh, and, and when I take them. You are now responsible for my medication. And also, is a list of my pet peeves. One, never sneak up on me. And two, no eye contact. When you're working. Ever. And third, Never sit topless on a beach with my aging, with no, with my balding uh, action hero husband. Oops, that one's for later. <laughs> anyway, this is going to be so much fun. Ciao. I double up on our Prozac. <laughs> wow. I can't believe I'm actually talking to Cher Horowitz. I am just your biggest fan. Of mine? Yeah. I mean, I just transferred from the valley. And your reputation for being fashion forward and super popular has gotten all the way to Tonga. <laughs> wow. I think they buried my pony there. Oh, and by the way, I watched your audition. <laughs> you were awesome. Thanks. <laughs> I mean, my next life, can I just be you? <laughs> pills, need my pills. Oh, duty calls. See you later. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Whoa. But smooch alert. That girl rates a 10 on the vomitometer. Excuse me? Cher, if she would have up any harder, sucked up any harder, her head would have caved in. She was just being nice. She wants something. Oh. So I should assume that anyone who pays me a compliment just has a hidden agenda? No. But when it comes to diamonds, furs, and friends, I can always spot a fake. Look, Dee. I know that me getting this part was hard on you, but oh. it's been weird for me, too. No, the only weird thing is that you've let your head get so big, you can't see what's really going on. Cut. Okay, and 
Ooh. And that's the cut of our action. <clears throat> uh, I have one more announcement to make before we start rehearsal, and I have my little talk with Mildred. We'd like to present the class with their director's chairs, boys. <laughs> Oh, save it for the showers, girls. <laughs> okay. This one is for our leading lady, Cher Horowitz. <laughs> and this one goes to our leading man, Nick Rastrum. Oh, yeah. All right, the rest of you schlubs, grab a piece of tape and slap it on a folding chair. Uh, hey, that's one of the realities of the business. Stars get perks. Deal with it. All I ever got from show business was a restraining order from Anne Haish. Rastrum. Yes. Get over here and let me show you how to thrust your pelvis like a man. <laughs> Okay. Later. Sooner. Okay. Um, Cher, sorry to bother you. Um, I'm new. My name is Eve. Hi. Uh, hi. I'm, I'm gonna be the production assistant on the play, you know, to, like, run lines or, or be a gopher or whatever. You mean your personal assistant? Like Demi Moore has. Well, no, not exactly. Oh, fabulous! Okay, here's a list of all of the pills I take and when I take them. You are now responsible for all my medication. And also on the list are my pet peeves. One, never sneak up on me. And two, no eye contact. While you're working. Ever. And third, never sit topless on a beach with my balding action hero husband. Oops, <laughs> that one comes later. Anyway... This is going to be so much fun. Ciao. I double up on her Prozac. <laughs> wow, I can't believe I'm actually talking to Cher Horowitz. I am just such a big fan of yours. Of mine? Yeah, I just transferred from Tahanga, from the Valley, and <laughs> your reputation for being fashion forward and super popular has gotten all the way to Tahanga. Wow, I think they buried my pony there. <sighs> By the way, I watched your audition. <laughs> You were awesome. Thanks. <laughs> Can I, like, just be you in my next life? Pills, I need my pills. Oh, duty yeah, calls. Please. See you later. <laughs> oh, butt smooch alert. That girl rates a 10 on the vomit meter. Excuse me? Come on. If she would have sucked up any harder, her head would have caved in. She was just being nice. Cher, she wants something. Oh, so I'm supposed to assume that anyone who pays a compliment, who pays me a compliment, must have a hidden agenda. No, but when it comes to diamonds, furs, and friends, I can always spot a fake. Look, Dee, <laughs> I know that me getting this part was really hard on you, but it's been weird for me, too. No, what's weird is that you've let your head get so big, you can't see what's really going on. God, I love to say that. Let's uh, rehearse the next number and uh, let's see some steak and sizzle. And uh, everybody should like get into partnership right here, okay? So everybody try and get into partnership. I'm gonna show you where you can be and be perfectly in, still talking. Cut out rehearsal, guys. Open. Yeah, take the chair back to work. Take the chair back a little bit more. Donald, your chair's in tray. Back it up. I'm trying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Background and action. I have one more announcement before we start rehearsal, and I have my little talk with Mildred. We'd like to present the cast with their director's chairs. Boy. Oh, save it for the showers, girls.
Okay. This one is for our leading lady, Cher Horowitz. Announcement to make before we start rehearsal and I have my little talk with Mildred. We'd like to present the cast with their director's chairs. Boys! Oh, save it for the showers, girls. Okay, this one is for our leading lady, Cher Horowitz. And this one goes to our leading man, Nick Rustin. The rest of you schlubs, grab a piece of tape and slap it on a folding chair. Uh. Hey, that's the reality of the business. Stars get perks, deal with it. The only thing I ever got from show business was a restraining order from Ann Haish. Ralph Jim. Yes? Get over here and let me show you how to thrust your pelvis like a man. <laughs> okay. Later. Sooner. Okay. Um, Cher, sorry to bother you. Um, I'm new here. My name's Eve. Oh, hi. I'm gonna be the production assistant on the play, you know, like run lines or, or be a gopher or whatever. You, and... you mean you're a personal assistant? Like Demi Moore has? Well, not exactly. <gasps> I... Fabulous! Okay, here's a list of all the pills I take and when I take them. So you are now responsible for all my medications. Oh, also on the list are my pet peeves. One, Never sneak up on me. And two, no eye contact. Where you working? Ever. And third, never sit topless on a beach with my balding action hero husband. Oops, that one's for later. <laughs> anyway, this is gonna be so much fun. Ciao. I double up on her Prozac. Wow, I can't believe I'm actually talking to Cher Horowitz. I'm just such a big fan of yours. Of mine? Yeah, I just transferred from the Valley and your reputation for being fashion forward and you're super popular has gotten all the way to Tahunga. Wow, I, I think they buried my pony there. By the way, I saw your audition. You are awesome. Thank you. <laughs> In my next life, can I just be you? <laughs> pills, I need my pills! Oh, duty calls, see you later. Bye. Hello. Butt smooch alert. That girl rates a 10 on the vomit meter. Excuse me? Oh my god, come on. If she would have sucked up any harder, her head would have caved in. She was just being nice. Cher, she wants something. Oh. So I should assume that anyone who pays me a compliment must have some hidden agenda. <sighs> no. But when it comes to furs, diamonds, and friends, I can always spot a fake. Look, D. I know that me getting this part was really hard on you, but it's been weird for me, too. No, the weird thing is that you've let your head get so big, you can't see what's really going on. All right, lesbians. God, I love that word. Let's run the next number, and this time I want to see some steak and sizzle. Good Good. Do we look at... <clears throat> I have one 
more announcement before we start rehearsal and I have my little talk with Mildred. We'd like to present the cast with their director's chairs. Boy! Oh, save it for the showers, girls. Okay, this one is for our leading lady, Cher Horowitz. piece of tape and slap it on a folding chair. Aww. Hey, that's one of the realities of the business. Stars get perks. Deal with it. All I ever got from show business was a restraining order from Anne Haish. Rathjen. Yes. Get over here and let me show you how to thrust your pelvis like a man. <laughs> okay. Later. Sooner. Okay. Um, Cher? Sorry to bother you. I, I'm new here. My name's Eve. Oh, hi. I, I'm gonna be the production assistant on the play, you know, to like run lines or, or, or go for or whatever. And you I mean, you're a personal assistant? Like Demi Morehouse? Well, no, not <gasps> exactly. Fabulous! Okay, here's a list of all of the pills I take and when I take them. Now, you will be responsible for all of my medication. Oh, and also on the list are my pet peeves. One, never sneak up on me. And two, no eye contact. When you're working. Ever. And third, never sit topless on a beach with my balding action hero husband. Oh, <laughs> oops. That one's for later. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> this is going to be so much fun. Ciao. I'd um, double up on her dosages. <laughs> wow. I can't believe I'm actually talking to Cher Horowitz. <laughs> I'm just such a big fan of yours. <laughs> of mine? Yeah. I just transferred from the Valley, and your reputation for being fashion forward and super popular has gotten all the way to Tonga. Wow, I, I think they buried my pony there. <laughs> and by the way, I watched your audition. You were awesome. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, in my next life, can I, like, just be you? <laughs> Hell, I need my pill. Oh, duty calls. I'll see you later. Bye. Butt smooch alert. That girl rates a 10 on the vomit meter. Excuse me? Oh my god, if she would have sucked up any harder, her head would have exploded. She was just being nice. Cher, she wants something. Oh. So I'm supposed to assume that anyone who pays me a compliment must have some hidden agenda. <sighs> no. But when it comes to furs, diamonds, and friends, I can always spot a fake. Look, Dee, I know me getting this part was really hard on you, but it's been weird for me, too. Cher, the only weird thing is that you've let your head get so big, you can't see what's really going on. All right, lesbians. God, I love that word. Let's run the next number. And this time, I want to see some steak and sizzle. Cut! <laughs> I have one more announcement before we start rehearsal, and I have my little talk with Mildred. We'd like to present the cast with their director's chairs. Boy! Oh. Showers, girls. <laughs> okay, this one is for our leading lady, Cher Horowitz. Oh, come, on. Come, on. Come, on. come on, come on, come on. And this one goes to our leading man, Nick Rushton. <laughs> 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 
The rest of you schlubs, grab a piece of tape and slap it on a folding chair. Oh. Hey, that's one of the realities of the business. Stars get perks. Deal with it. All I ever got from show business was a restraining order from Ann Haish. All right, Rathjen. Yes. Get over here and let me show you how to thrust your pelvis like a man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Later. Santa. Okay. I'm Cher. I'm sorry to bother you. I'm new here. My name's Eve. Oh, hi. I'm gonna be the production assistant on the play. You know, like run lines or, or be a gopher or whatever. And you I mean your personal assistant? Like Demi Morehouse? Well, no, not exactly. <gasps> I Fabulous! Okay. Here's a list of all the pills I take and when I take them. Now you are responsible for all my medication. <laughs> oh, and also on the list are my pet peeves. One, never sneak up on me. And two, no eye contact. When you're working. Ever! And third, never sit topless on a beach with my balding action hero husband. Oops, <laughs> that one's for later. <laughs> anyway, this is gonna be so much fun. Ciao! I would uh, double up on our dosages. <laughs> wow, I can't believe I'm actually talking to Cher Horowitz. I'm just such a big fan of yours. Of mine? Yeah, I just transferred from the Valley, and your reputation for being fashion forward and super popular has gotten all the way to Tahunga. Wow, I think they buried my pony there. <sighs> By the way, I watched your audition. You were awesome. Thank you. <laughs> In my next life, can I just be you? Pills! I need my pills! Oh, duty calls. I'll see you later. Bye. Whoa. Butt smooch alert. That girl rates a 10 on the vomit meter. <laughs> Excuse me? <gasps> Hello? If she would have sucked up any harder, her head would have caved in. She was just being nice. Cher, she wants something. Oh, so I'm supposed to assume that anyone who pays me a compliment must have some hidden agenda? No, but when it comes to furs, diamonds, and friends, I can always spot a fake. Look, Dee, I know that me getting this part was really hard on you, oh. but it's been weird for me too, okay? No, you know what? The only weird thing is that you've let your head get so big, you can't see what's really going on. And this time I want to see some steak and sizzle. Cut! Good. Good. I have one more announcement to make before we start rehearsal and I have my little talk with Mildred. We'd like to present the cast with their director's chairs. Boys! Yeah. <laughs> Oh, save it for the showers, girls. Okay, this one is for Cher Horowitz. Woo! <laughs> and this one goes to our leading man, Nick Rushton. <gasps> the rest of you schlubs, grab a piece of tape and slap it on a folding chair. Uh. Hey. That's one of the realities of the business. Stars get perks. Deal with it. All I ever got from show business was a restraining order from Ann Haish. Ratchin. Yes? Get over here and let me show you how to thrust your pelvis like a man. Okay. Okay, and then we jump in until it comes yeah. back over. Okay, thespians. God, I love that word. Let's run the, the next number. And this time, I want to see some steak and sizzle. Okay. <laughs> Some steak and sizzle. <laughs> All right. Rolling. Sounds good. Turn. Marker. Okay, back rounding and action. <laughs> I have one more announcement to make before we start rehearsal, and I have my little talk with Mildred. We'd like to present the cast with their director's chairs. Oh, boy. Oh, save it for the showers, girls. Okay, this one is for our leading lady, Cher Horowitz. Woo! Come on, come on. <laughs> and this one goes to our leading man, Nick Rushton. Yeah! Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> All right. 
right, the rest of you schlubs, grab a piece of tape and slap it on a folding chair. Uh. Hey, that's one of the realities of the business. Stars get perks. Deal with it. All I ever got from show business was a restraining order from Ann Haish. Rafjin. Yes? Get over here and let me show you how to thrust your pelvis like a man. Okay, thespians. God, I love that word. Let's run the next number. And this time, I want to see some steak and sizzle. <laughs> Come on. Cut. <laughs> Marker. Okay, back row dancing and action. Okay, thespians. God, I love that word. Let's run the first number. And this time, I want to see some steak and sizzle. <laughs> Come on, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Marker. Yeah, background dancing. Action. Okay, thespians. God, I love that word. Listen up. We're going to run the first number again, and this time I want to see some steak and sizzle. <laughs> okay? <laughs> Come on, let's go. to welcome everyone to what I think will be the definitive version of Greece. <clears throat> As your auteur and director, I look forward to exploring this delightful play's universal theme of finding oneself in an oft-time confusing world. We'll be working... Oh, is Harry Poppins. This play's not about finding yourself. It's about shaking your booty and shaking it hard. And as your choreographer, I'm going to push you all to dance like your hair's on fire. I have one more announcement to make before we start rehearsals, and I have my little talk with Mildred. We'd like to present the cast with their director's chairs. Boys! <laughs> Oh, save it for the showers, girls. Okay. This one is for our leading lady, Cher Horowitz. <clears throat> and this one goes to our leading man, Nick Rastian. to what I think. That's what? No, no, no. Marker. Attention, attention, everyone, Silvu play. First of all, I want to welcome everyone to what I think will be the definitive version of Greece. <clears throat> As your auteur and director, 
I look forward to exploring this delightful play's universal theme of finding oneself in an oft time confusing world. We'll be working. Oh, Weasel Harry Poppins, this play's not about finding yourself. It's about shaking your booty and shaking it hard. As your choreographer, I'm gonna push you all to dance like your hair's on fire. I have one more announcement to make before we start rehearsal and I have my little talk with Mildred. We'd like to present the cast with their director's chairs. Boys! Oh, save it for the showers, girls. Okay. This one is for our leading lady, Cher Horowitz. And this one goes to our leading man, Nick Rastian. Attention! Attention, everyone, Silbu Play. First of all, I want to welcome everyone to what I think will be the definitive version of Grace. As your auteur and director, I look forward to exploring this delightful place universal theme of finding oneself in an oft-time confusing world. We'll be looking at all sorts of fabulous things. <laughs> Marker. Action. Attention! Attention, everyone, Silvu Play. First of all, I want to welcome everyone to what I think will be the definitive version of Grace. As your auteur and director, I look forward to exploring this delightful play's universal theme of finding oneself in an oft-time confusing world. We'll be working terribly hard. We'll be dancing and singing and... <laughs>